Hi guys, um, welcome to my next tutorial in Scratch. Um, I got requested this. I'm going to be showing you how to make your cat walk over hills, up and down hills um, in your terrain. So um, I got requested this. Um, so yeah, um, let's get started. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to make a background. Um, for your like world or whatever, and I'm just gonna have a sky with that might be dark. Uh, that's a very dark sky. Um, oh well, I don't think there's a. Um, let's just draw a few clouds. This is not gonna be very good. Oh well. Um, and well, yeah. <laughs> Decent, I guess. Right, and now let's shrink this sprite down because he's way too big. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the cat sprite because I can't be bothered to paint one, and you know. Um, but you can, by all means, use your own sprite. So, um, going to want to be in scripts on your sprite one, and you're going to put in that. And we are going to incorporate some scrolling into this, so. Um, you're gonna want to draw your terrain, and I'm just gonna get a green, this green colour, and I'm just gonna um, just draw some hills and stuff round on the bottom of the screen. Now, by default, default um, in the sprite editor, paint editor, your it will be zoomed in like this. You want it zoomed all the way out, okay? Um, Otherwise, it's not going to fill the width of the screen. And then just fill in this bottom bit and press OK. And then you want to drag this down here to the bottom. And you can probably set set its y like some y coordinates. Um, so let's just doesn't matter about the x values at the moment because we're going to set that scroll x. So just have it about where it doesn't need to be exact and then you can see it's y coordinates here and rename the sprite ground zero um if you haven't done already i strongly recommend watching my scrolling how to how to make a scrolling game in scratch um and my tutorial because I, I make a lot of references to this to that and um yeah it you'll understand this better so um You'll want, you're going to want to put in um, a forever loop and what's it? forever here we go um, and then set x and we're going to need to make a variable and call it scroll x again you'll understand this if you watch my uh, scrolling scrolling tutorial and you'll just want to set x to um, no, sorry, it's the plus in there, and then what in there, and um, in here put 480 times by zero. Um, and I know this is just going to come out of scroll x, it's just going to set x to scroll x, but you'll see one in a minute. And if you've watched that tutorial, then um, you'll understand it. So, um, just duplicate this, and we're just going to edit the costume. And you can have as many of these terrains as you want. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm just gonna uh, gonna make a few. But yeah, that that's basically how long your map's gonna be. So, um, yeah, uh, paintbrush, and we're just gonna oh, get a green color, and we're just gonna draw. Oh, actually, sorry, you need to get. You need to get the like uh, to make it look smooth. You need to get you need to make sure you start from this point here. So um, I'm just gonna probably rub off this bit here. Um, and we'll just go down a bit instead. And you can you can delete all this bit off. You might want to zoom in and um, oh dear, I missed that one. There you go. Zoom in a bit. And um, as you can see here, it goes it goes up a bit, so we can just rub that off. Um, put it down to a pixel. Just tidy it up a bit. There's a little gap there. Uh, 
use my paintbrush to just make it really small. Oh, it's gone. Hmm. Let's get away. Okay. Um. Okay. So then, so now, you just want to get this and just draw a bit, and then, oh, we can zoom out again now. Um. And we'll just go like this. You can make this much more interesting than what I'm doing, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna. Yeah, no, that's gonna. Um, it's one thing slightly annoying about this is it centers it, cent it centers it in the middle of the page. And uh, wait, can I do that? I am spending way too long on this. I might just cut this out or speed it up or something. But you know, I'll just there we go. Okay. Uh, wait until it's finished. Zoom in. Um, if I were you, I would just um, actually probably probably have to do it this way. If you've got a paint editor, then like. I would advise you to make it separately. Oh wait, control Y. Oh dear. Can't do that. Okay. Um, yeah. If you have a separate paint editor, um, just make sure your, if you're gonna create your ground in a separate paint editor, then make sure the width is 480, because that's the width of the screen. And then height, whatever you want, how, however high you want your ground to be. And press OK. Okay, and we're going to rename this ground one, and we're going to set this to one. You'll under again. Oh, I'll stop saying this now, but you'll understand this if you watch my screen show. But now that is all right, okay. Um, and for this, we are just going to set the y values to go to x. Oh, X, I'll just make X. Uh, actually, no, sorry. Sorry. You're gonna wanna set Y to its current Y, which is minus one, five, six. Oh, minus one, five, six. And same again for this one. You might as well just duplicate that. Duplicate. Put that there. Just put that back up. Okay, so we've got our scrolling basics now, and yeah, we need to uh, set the. Why is it going like that? Which is weird. Crash has glitched a bit. I don't know how that happened. Oh well. Okay, so we're just gonna have put in a forever loop, and this is gonna be for the um the movement. Um, so we're basically just gonna. Um, sorry, go in if, and then sensing, key, left arrow, and key, right arrow, and we're going to variable, just change, scroll x by, it's up to you what speed you want, but I'm going to put it on 5, it's quite good speed, and I've done that wrong. Uh, that, yeah, no, that's right, and this one needs to be minus five, because it's opposite directions. So, now we can move along the terrain, and that's gone completely wrong for some reason. We might all probably need to correct that. Um, so you do need to actually move it yourself, and then um, set, the, set the Y values. There we go. And it's just y minus 7. Why am I? Okay. <laughs> y minus 7 then. Which shall we? Um, we'll get back on the... Right. So now we need the um, controlling the cat going up and down. So I would just duplicate. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just going to... Sorry about that, guys. I just deleted that instantly. So it'd be better if you just put in a new when the green plank is clicked. So anyway, uh, 
that was a bit silly. Anyway, forever, um, you're going to want to put if, where's if, here we go, if, um, it's not my day to say, um, if uh, not um, touching colour, now all your ground needs to be the same colour, um, so if, if you've got a sprite and you've got quite complicated, like, um, like, uh, images, that's what I'm trying to say, um, your top border, where your, where your cat's going to sit, needs to be, um, the colour, actually, yeah, this will be quite hard to do if you've got a complex sprite. This is why I would recommend, if you do want to make very complex games, I would recommend upgrading, um, to, uh, get a, a software package called Game Maker. I don't know if you've heard of it. it. It makes games a lot better than Scratch. I would really recommend it. And if you're a bit beyond Scratch, which I am, because it's kind of easy, um, then I would definitely move on to Game Maker. It's a lot more advanced, um, and you can get you can make much better games with it. Anyway, um, let's just finish this off. Um, I think I probably will be making a um, a game maker series um, and yeah okay um, probably minus five and if touching green I you probably can't see this with the recording but um, the scrap the the cat is kind of um, it's as you sit there, it's sort of jiggering up and down, and I'm afraid you can't really correct that unless you make a much complicated script, um, which I, I suppose I could show you, but it, I don't have time in this video. And I might make a few tutorial, but um, for now I'm just going to show you this way because this is the most easiest and commonly neat, commonly used method is walking up hills and um, so yeah that is basically it um like it's, you could you can position your sprite any way you want um so yeah that is that's pretty much it so um stop it so thanks for watching guys um please subscribe if you like my videos um you can like i said you can make these hills however you want um so yeah um thanks for watching um yeah bye